look at the lymphatic system, when we look at the lymphatic system, understand that all these yellow parts right here, those are the individual lymph nodes. So they form chains and eventually they drain out and the main purpose of the lymph nodes is to filter any bacterium that's found in the lymphatic system. We did talk about it in lab, in lecture, how when there has, if you get a cut, there's swelling, there's inflammation, and that inflammation causes all that fluid to go down these tiny lymphatic vessels. These lymphatic vessels that drain all that fluid along with any of the microbes or toxins associated with it into these yellow nodes. These nodes are where you have large accumulations of white blood cells. So by the time we're done here, bringing that lymphatic fluid full of microbes into these nodes, the nodes have freely filtered it away and the nodes will actually become large and painful as a result and it's a sign that you have a good inflammatory response. So these nodes are going to be in clusters. The first cluster that we're gonna see here is in the neck. This is your anterior cervical node chain. There's a reason why when you, would, when you guys and all of us were young, our parents will touch, palpate the side of our neck. And if they feel lumps right here, they said that you had a swollen gland. In actuality, it's not the gland that's swollen, it's these nodes. And if you take a look, they're all coming in from the pharyngeal area. So your throat, so if you have pharyngitis, a sore throat, all of the bacterium and the viruses will then be filtered at these nodes, and these nodes will then enlarge. So it kind of makes sense why we have that enlargement of these anterior, anterior cervical nodes. You have posterior cervical nodes as well, but they're not seen on this model. Now, in the armpit area, that's the axillary area or axial area, you have axillary nodes. These axillary nodes are important because they allow you to drain all that fluid in the arm. That fluid then can go into the axilla here on the right side, right? As a fluid comes in from the right arm, the right side of your head, right part of your chest, all that fluid and either, in, and I'm gonna mention this, even in the right breast area right here, all that fluid comes into these axillary nodes where it's filtered for any microbes and then eventually the filtered lymphatic fluid then drains into the right lymphatic duct where it's going to be incorporated into the bloodstream by way of the right subclavian vein. Now, why is this important? Well, these axillary nodes are actually important because they're a site of metastasis, of breast cancer. So there's a reason why when we have breast cancer and we have breast cancer, a mastectomy or lumpectomy, we always check to see if these nodes have been infiltrated with metastatic cells. Now, the more of these nodes we remove, the less reabsorption of fluids we can have from the arm. So the more nodes we remove, what happens is that the arm area will then retain more water. As it retains more water, you have massive lymphedema that can occur. This is the reason why people with mastectomies and have had lots of nodes removed, they always have to wear a lymphedema sleeve and they will tell you right away never to do their blood pressure cuffing on that arm. Now as we look on the other side right here and move down, you'll notice that you see these nodes over here. These are the hilar lymph nodes. These nodes go and they follow the primary and secondary bronchi. These nodes get very enlarged and infiltrated in diseases such as sarcoidosis. Now, as you look down here, you'll notice that white line right here. This is your thoracic duct, where the right side of your upper body and the right side of your thorax drains into the right lymphatic duct, the rest of your lower body, abdomen, left side of the head, left side of the arm, right? The, all of it goes up the lymphatic duct and into the left subclavian by that connection right here. So lymphatic duct starts way down here. As you start way down there, it starts as a little bulge right here. That bulge is called the cisterna chile. That's where all that fat that we absorb from the GI tract also get introduced into the lacteals. All right now, let's take a look down here. You see lots and lots and lots of lymph nodes in the GI region. Kind of makes sense because as we evolve, we never really, you know, were eating really clean foods until recently. And the last node clusters that I want us to look at is down here. These are the inguinal nodes. These are nodes along with the axillary nodes that become very inflamed and they almost become 
um, you know, black, dark, astaric, uh, with bubonic plague. Right? And it's one of the telltale signs that people have bubonic plague is that you have these massive lymphedema in these nodes that becomes darkened and it becomes what we call bubbles with time. 